Welcome back to Gold Rush on Console with Turley. Um, decided to, uh, I just uh, kept going around and around. I'm just going to restart and uh, try to get uh, a little more going on a little earlier. Uh, grabbing some story pieces here now. I'm not sure what they do uh, if you get them all I don't even know how many's here is there another one over here somewhere it'll start blinking if you get next to it I can check the journal so there's still one more here somewhere at the hotel There it is. Again, not really sure what it does, but we'll grab them. Uh, just trying to figure out a better way to do deal with our money and stuff. And uh, I just think I could progress a lot faster knowing what I do know now. And, uh, you know, I turned you got to hire those workers and, and let them they get better like every day so it's important to uh, just continue to develop them so they get better and better but also to uh, just get that daily gold so you can start progressing and getting more um, things done so knowing a little more now so I think it'll go a little quicker on the progression I'm hoping anyway um, I did turn the nuggets off and I and that's that's a mistake you will stop getting nuggets at the uh, out of the hog pan at some point and then when you move to the, the excavator you'll start getting them again all right so we want a lease it's free um, oh gosh somebody didn't set the parking brake All right, so I may need to borrow the money. I don't know. Let's see what we can do here. I want to try to get a little bit of automation going right off the rip. So. But I think a lot of it is to watch for the updates uh, and if you see something that's 25% off or 30% off, if you've got the money, go ahead and buy it then. So I want to get... I want to get the pump. I want to get the core. I want to try to get the extension. Not sure if I can get that yet. Let's see. Get two of these so if I get those two things I don't have the pump yet that's okay um, we should be able to get the extension let me pay for everything here Okay. We'll get the extension. We'll get two more mats. If 
$49. How much are buckets? There we go. All right, we got five bucks left. Four dollars. Four bucks. This, <laughs> those buckets look a little ridiculous. They come in handy though, especially once you start getting. I can't see anything. That's okay. Oh, instead of I should have tried to buy a big box. Uh, I forgot about that. The box that you can use to carry stuff in. Hey, sir, we need that. Get in the get in the truck. Tripping over my buckets. I'll get some more of the story pieces offline. I'm not really sure what they do. If you know what they do, go ahead and leave a comment. <clears throat> um, I don't know. Maybe if you get them all, it adds some sort of perk. But the problem is there's a lot of them you don't have access to because they're on parcels that you can't get to yet. Um, there's quite a few of them right here. There's like six right in this area here between here and the other end of the factory you'll see them start lighting up your little story mode icon will start lighting up and there's there's like three back there and there's three right in here and then there's two on Arnold Parcel which one of them is really not on Arnold Parcel one of them is um, down this little side road right here to the left Yeah, right here to the left, there's one of them down that road there. All right. All right, let's get set up here. Sometimes you got to pause for the family interruptions. This is part of life. 
can't get rid of them. <laughs> no matter how hard you try. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, you know, it's all good. There's a story piece. It's saying it's back here. Um, and it's right here is where it is. It keeps lighting up. So I'm going to grab this one just so it'll stop flashing. I've already knocked one of my buckets out here. Yeah, I wish I'd have brought the other bucket, the, uh, the box that helps you get the big box. It'll help you carry this stuff a little better. So you're not running one piece at a time. Um, I'm going to try to skip the small excavator. Uh, even if I got to rent the large one, it's a thousand a day. Uh, as soon as I got enough money to buy the other stuff I need. So I like to put one right in here. This is the one I'll use to rinse my mats off with, but I don't want it close to the dig hole because it'll get, um, you can accidentally put dirt in it from your dig site here. Really? All right, so we're already set up. Now, as we can get some money, we'll get the, the pump really don't need the buckets at this early on um, but they will come in handy as you start digging uh, you know you don't want to be here all and long enough to dig all of this and you can dig quite a bit of it without actually going anywhere so and if you squat and put these down, they'll stand up a lot better. Like that. All right. And we will. Oh, we will need a couple. We have to run through some water too, because we're not automated. So we'll get a couple more buckets for water. Another bucket, because I want to keep that one over there to wash my. Um, mats out in really doesn't matter he's used the same one I guess all right let's put some dirt in it's already 1030 so what you can do and I'll check my settings right now if you put your I've already got it it's still from last time keep your camera sensitivity to 100 percent that'll help you spin faster it'll literally help you fill this thing up a lot quicker it's nine shovels three buckets three buckets or nine shovels to fill it up so I found a gold nugget so the parcel for your lease it was free but it takes a percentage of your gold every time every time you process it so the nuggets are nice because it doesn't count them as you processing it. So it's three buckets to flush it out here.
Another nugget, sweet. Uno mas. All right. So what we can do, one of the things you can do, since we got three buckets right here, if you want, that's how we want to do it. Once we wash this out, we can fill it up immediately and wash it out again. So three of these. Oops. I'm crushing it. I mean, I'm messing up. <laughs> Don't judge me. All right. Here we go. Now, I just turned away from it too fast with the camera that time, I think. All right. Let's grab our three buckets here. If you get stuck in every little divot, which you will. Just do a little jump, and you'll be right out of it. So you only find nuggets when you put dirt into a processor. In this case, dumping the bucket. You'll never find a nugget while putting the dirt in the bucket. Only when you dump it into the processor. certain amount of gold every day depending on your costs right now the only cost we have is uh, fuel if we use the truck again or um, the rent or the lease cost will take a percentage of gold that we process which won't happen until we uh, actually rinse the mats off and do the panning That's like a, that's like a twelve hundred dollars. That's another thing too. Watch your gold prices, because if you don't need to sell your gold, uh, wait for the price to go up. It does fluctuate, just like the price of equ equipment in the game. So uh, things are, the prices vary. So you want to get it on the low price, if possible. Gold prices change every day. So, something to think about. Um, $50 an ounce adds up. If you've got 30 ounces to process, that's quite a bit. So.
we not have our fourth mat in? Duh. Losing money. Losing money. One thing I will tell you about me is learn from my mistakes. Because uh, I didn't even notice that. It's at zero. As you can see up there, mat four is at zero. That's uh, giving away free money. Not the end of the world at this point, but you don't want to do that. You don't want to keep going and giving up that extra gold. the nuggets. Oh. Oh. All right. Probably going to go ahead and do some panning real fast after this. Um, just to switch it up. See how we're doing here. So we're kind of seeing the whole process. Some people have a short attention span, mainly me. So I like to do different things. So I'm going to go grab the, uh, the big pan. Just going to do it in here. Oh, there's a couple buckets in here too. Always nice. And I went the wrong way. I think you can hire people after you earn a certain amount of gold. Um, obviously, the more gold you're making, the more likely people are wanting to come. And uh, I really don't need this. Um, well, I'm just going to put it in here. We can just use this one. To do both. Now you can wait for these to be a hundred percent if you'd like. Um, it's more efficient to do it that way for sure. Right now you're going to make more money on the nuggets than you are the actual mining <clears throat> until you can get your system upgraded. At least when you get the water automated, which is the next step, that'll uh, it speeds up the process quite a bit because you don't have to pour the water in. You can just shovel dirt in and it'll process it. Or when you get the wave table, you can skip this step. It's all about just upgrading and slowly getting automated. Not a lot of gold, but looks like there's some decent size stuff. You want to use, you want them to use the tweezers if you can. That's the bigger nuggets. Oh, 
little squeeze bottles for the smaller pieces. And whatever we get out of this, and when you're done, I just dump this into here. funny because we're on a hill and it automatically wants to uh, because it's not flat it wants to throw it it wants to make it unlevel it makes it uh, harder all right got at least one tweezer went out of that In real life, that'd be tragic, but in this game, it doesn't hurt. <laughs> That's why they do it in a tent in real life. I think we got a couple tweezer size ones. them big old nuggets oop small nuggets <laughs> we'll take it all yeah remember this wasn't wasn't full so probably got one little more one more little tiny nugget in this We'll see. It usually comes out like one rock at the end, so we'll see. there you go. So it gives you one more little tiny, one more little bitty nugget. I 
don't know if I did it enough to make it a gold. There we go. Yeah, I was trying to cut corners a little too fast. It's like, no, 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 you're not doing it right. All right, so. Back to shovel. That was more than we got out of all the, the bucket we processed. Alright, so we're full. You know you got skill when you can fill up a bucket sideways. That's how you know you're doing it right. That's how you know you're doing it right. Olympic store uh, sport bucket throwing trying to stick the landing wham boom perfect kick the bucket too much Bucket Toss, World Champion. All right, it's 241, so let's fill up some more buckets. All these little holes I'll start getting stuck in. Just build an upside down bucket. Don't try that at home.
that was a big one over an ounce need some water 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 for money 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 Nuggets, more, 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 more money, more gold, more problems. Oh, all right. This one's empty, right? Nope, it's got dirt in it. This is literally a rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. Let's go ahead and fill this one up while we're here for the last one here. Then I'll start doing the buckets again. Oh, I got rid denied. Thirsty here. Need some water. Water, water, water. That's it for today. We're going to go ahead and call that an episode. And then when I get back, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of this offline and try to get us uh, at least the water pump and the um, the water automation going. And we'll go from there. Uh, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. 
and until next time, have fun gaming.